Hey folks, Pete here. Uh, if you're wondering why I look even dorkier than usual, just when you thought I'd achieve maximum dorkiness level, it's because my glasses got shattered. This is actually my old pair. These are Oakley's, which are better glasses, or were, until they got shattered also. And if you're wondering why I did this ghetto fielder pair, when I could just print another pair, well, uh, my Taz, my Lulzbot Taz 3D printer is in at our other house, and... Uh, the 3D printer I have with me here is down for maintenance, so I know, first world problems, but uh, I ordered a new pair, they're on the way for the moment, you'll just have to bear with me. But I wanted to share a little piece of software that I wrote that I think is pretty cool. I've been goofing around a little bit just to punctuate the tedium, I've been working on a lot of math and software projects uh, lately for my work, and I just need to unwind a little bit, so I've been playing this video game called Bully. If you've played the game, you know what I'm talking about. You play as a teenage boy who goes to this horrible school where everyone beats on you, and you have to beat on them, and you have to pass certain classes and so on. You sort of gain respect and, and whatnot. One of the classes that you have to pass is English. The lower-level English classes are pretty easy, but as they get higher, it gets more difficult. And what they do is it's sort of like a word scramble. They give you some letters, and you have to somehow form words and then you have a time limit and you have to form a certain number of words within a certain number of minutes and it's usually like two or three minutes you have to make a lot of words. I decided when I got to, I think it was English 4, I'm like this is getting a little bit too much even for me, I just wanted a little bit of help. And yes, I know I could go online and just look up the answers, I don't care about that. I wanted to solve it in my own way. So I wrote an anagram solver, I think it's pretty cool. You literally just punch in some letters and it spits out all the possible words that you can make with those letters. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we have the code to the Enneagram Solver. It's pretty simple. As you can see, it's more or less just ANSI C, maybe a couple pages of code. I'm not going to go over all the details as to how it works, but if you understand C, you should be able to read through it and uh, figure it out. I don't use a whole lot of commentary, but I try to use descriptive variable names at least, so you should be able to figure it out. Let's see the thing in action, shall we? So first you want to compile it like so. There you go, it's compiled, and then you just run it like so. And uh, let's see, what was the first word? Okay, so I remember that these were the letters in English, I think it was English 4, and boom. So you see it, it alphabetizes those letters to form a unique string, and then it searches for that unique string. And it found two no, it found one unique match, so that's the only six-letter word it can make with those letters, but it found a bunch of partial matches here. This was really helpful for English 4. Let's see then what it can do with English 5. Now, this was the real tough one. So you can see that it generated quite a number of partial matches, only two perfect matches. One was the word I entered, which, by the way, I could enter this, A-D-E-G-G-R, and it would generate the same thing. So it really doesn't matter what order you enter the letters in as long as you get the correct letters. So ragged is a perfect anagram for that. But there's a lot of imperfect anagrams like rage and rage and gauged, uh, things like that. These are words that you can make using letters from the word that was entered or the letters that were entered, but that uh, may be shorter in length. So anyways, this will get you through all the English classes if you use this. Obviously, you could just go online and search for it, but if you're interested to know how these things work, you can check out my code. I really wrote this in like, in probably, I would say, 30 minutes total. It was like two sessions. The first session for the perfect solver, the second session for the partial solver. And yeah, so I mean, it was like definitely under an hour of total work went into this. So pretty proud of it in that sense, but ultimately a very simple tool. I'm sure there's millions like it out there. Hope you enjoy it. Pete here. If you like my content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and uh, check out my website, PeteLarick.com. Cheers.